Hey there Shopify pros, I'm Ryan and welcome back to the Tiny Image channel. Your go-to place for boosting Shopify success with actionable insights and you guessed it, tiny tips. Today, we're diving into keyword research, the foundation of SEO and online sales. Whether you're just starting or looking to take that next step, understanding keyword research is essential for Shopify success. Let's explore what keyword research is, why it's critical for Shopify and how Tiny Image can help you optimize your product descriptions, meta titles, and images to boost visibility. But before we dive in, help us help you with more free Tiny Tips by dropping a like, leaving a comment, and hit that subscribe button. What is keyword research? So what exactly are keywords and why is keyword research important? Proper keyword research helps you discover what your customers are searching for and how to optimize your product pages, including meta tags like descriptions and titles, as well as your blog content to match. These keywords link what people are searching for with the content that you provide, guiding users to your Shopify store. Simply put, no keywords, no visibility. And no visibility means no customers and no sales. It is worth noting, however, that not all keywords are created equal. There are many different types that serve a specific purpose based on the user's intent. Types of keywords. Navigational keywords. These are used when someone is searching for a specific website or page, like Shopify login or tiny image pricing. They're mainly for users who already know where they want to go. Informational keywords. These are used when people are searching for answers or researching a specific topic. For example, how to choose a vegan wallet, or what is Shopify SEO. These users aren't necessarily ready to buy now, but gathering information. Transactional keywords. These are for users who are ready to purchase, like buy vegan leather wallet. These are the high value keywords that lead directly to sales. Commercial keywords. Commercial keywords are when users are searching for options before making their final decision. Understanding these types helps you target the right audience at each stage. Now that you're getting the hang of things, let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of. An in-depth look at keyword types, best Shopify apps for 2025, or leave your request in the comments. Free and paid tools for keyword research. If you're new to keyword research, here are some free and paid tools you can consider. Each tool provides insights to help you understand what people are searching for and guide you along with your SEO strategy. Free tools, Google Trends, Google Analytics, Keyword Planner, and Keywords Everywhere, the Chrome extension. Some paid tools to consider, Surfer SEO and Phrase. These tools provide online article editing features. While they can be valuable, today we're gonna to stick to the more budget-friendly options. Make sure to stick around for a Google demo coming up in a few minutes. Tiny tip, check out what already works for you. If you're ranking in the top results, you can target those keywords further with long tail phrases to increase visibility and reuse the same keyword in other places. For example, if best Shopify SEO apps places you in fifth, you might try adding keywords like best Shopify SEO apps for 2024 to climb higher. How to track where you're ranking and which keywords perform best. Google Search Console. This free tool provides insights into the search terms that bring traffic into your site, including click-through rates and average position for each keyword. This can help identify strong keywords and track ranking changes over time. Let's face it, you're not gonna be sitting here on a leisurely Saturday afternoon because you feel like sifting data for fun. You're here for a purpose and that purpose is to get ranked and make money. So let's figure out how. Once you're logged on to Google Search Console, you can see an overview of collective data, including performance, indexing, experience, and enhancements. When you're ready, hit search results under the performance tab in the top left. Now you can see total clicks, impressions, average CTR or click-through rate, and of course, position. There are plenty of filters to look through, but one of the most important is time and date. I suggest to keep things between three and six months to keep things relevant. Below, you can see tons of information on queries, pages, countries, devices, search appearance, and of course, dates. To sift through the data and analyze to make actionable decisions based on the results, click export at the top right and select Google Sheets. Almost instantaneously, all the data has been aggregated and presented in an easy to read way. This page shows clicks, impressions, CTR, and position for each keyword. You can now determine what's being searched for most, as well as identifying gaps in the market. Go through and identify keywords with intriguing metrics, which you can take advantage of. 
there are many ways to interpret and use data. One method is when you have impressions from Google about a particular topic, for example, CCPA fines, you can ascertain this is something you are being rewarded for and can write a blog or promote a service based on this particular element and capitalize on search results. If you notice keywords such as big and handmade leather wallets becoming consistent in your results, you know you can increase this by adding long tail keywords to boost it or complement the results with a blog like how to choose the best vegan leather wallet. Funny tips for identifying keyword opportunities in Google Search Console. Low hanging fruit. Look for keywords with high impressions, but a low CTR. This indicates potential optimization opportunities to increase click through rates. Long tail keywords. Discover long tail keywords with lower search volume, but higher conversion potential. These keywords can help you target niche audiences. And of course, improve your website's organic visibility Seasonal keywords. Identify seasonal keywords to capitalize on specific times of the year. Google Analytics. Google Analytics actually highlights which pages bring in the most organic traffic. Cross-referencing high traffic pages with keywords gives insights into where to focus your optimization. The Google Analytics homepage offers a perfect snapshot of your website's traffic and metrics. It's an overall great place for cross-referencing data, but it can be challenging to get the hang of at first. Today, we're gonna to stick to a simple yet very effective method. To start with, on the left menu, select reports. From here, you can see a lot of data to sift through from many different user tracking metrics, such as engagements and more, all under the report snapshot. Next, under business objectives, select traffic, then pages and screens. Here, you can see which of your individual pages gets the most views, users, engagement, and more. Compare the top performing pages in Google Analytics with the top ranking keywords in Google Search Console to identify keyword opportunities to target new audiences. Google Analytics tiny tip. Optimizing top performing pages for relevant keywords. If your About Us page is ranking well with the keyword company history, you can also optimize the page title and meta description to include this keyword. Create new content to target underutilized yet performing keywords. If you notice your blog is getting a lot of traffic under the keywords best running shoes, but you don't have a blog post on the topic, consider creating one. Monitor performance and adjust your strategy as needed. Use Google Analytics to track the performance of your website over time. By combining data from Google Analytics and Google Search Console, we can gain valuable insights into our website's performance and make data-driven decisions to improve our SEO strategy. SEO tools, RFs, SEMrush, or Uber Suggest. These tools show keyword rankings and insights into competitors' performance. Though they have a cost, they do offer in-depth analysis for serious SEO improvements. Using these strategies can help you identify current strengths and keyword opportunities, guiding optimization efforts. Using ChatGPT. Using ChatGPT for SEO brainstorming can be beneficial for keyword inspiration and topic ideas. However, Remember that ChatGPT isn't a keyword research tool and can't provide search volume or data trends. It's ideal for brainstorming potential keyword placements and understanding user search behavior. For example, you can prompt ChatGPT with questions like, what keywords would be relevant for a vegan wallet store? Or where should I place keywords in Shopify for the best results? Once you've identified keywords, you can also prompt ChatGPT, write a meta description about vegan leather wallets using the following keywords. If you want your website to rank first in search results, keywords should be on top of your priority list. With ChatGPT's assistance, you can uncover hidden gems and opportunities to gain insights into the phrases people are using to search for products and services in your niche. Here are some additional ChatGPT prompts for SEO keyword research. Give me five to 10 keywords that would be perfect for. Generate five to 10 keywords with low competition that would be perfect for. Generate five to 10 long tail keywords that have a high search volume, but low competition or related to. Give me five to 10 keywords that would be relevant to optimizing this content. You're a content marketing lead with this topic list for a blog marketing campaign. Come up with search terms for each of these topics. Chat GPT for keywords. The emergence of AI chatbots is a modern day revolution. Utilizing tools like ChatGPT can significantly improve your workflow and help take care of tasks in just a fraction of the time. Number one, from the ChatGPT homepage, click Explore GPTs in the top left corner. In the search bar, type in keyword research or something similar, and from the drop down menu, select a GPT based on your preferences. I'll choose the top one, guided by its meta description, user comments, and of course, a strong choice of keywords. 
After selecting a GPT, you'll see a brief overview including conversation starters, capabilities, ratings, and more. From here, it's simple. Input your question or request, like the examples I mentioned earlier, and let the magic unfold. ChatGPT may prompt you to refine your results further or offer additional suggestions to help you get started. ChatGPT is a highly sophisticated piece of software. The more specific you are with your inputs, the better your outputs and results will be. Finally, double check and cross-reference your findings with your Google Analytics or Google Search Console data. When crafting ChatGPT queries, you can even request to use keywords that are already performing well as identified through Google Analytics or Google Search Console. Competitor analysis and manual keyword research. Visit competitor stores, analyze meta titles and descriptions as well as content to find keywords that they're targeting. Note trending terms on page one of Google to get insight into what users are already clicking. Manual research. Use Google tools as we discussed earlier to dig into what people are searching for, analyzing search trends to adapt accordingly. How Tiny Image supports your SEO efforts. Our app offers suggestions for SEO optimized meta descriptions and titles, guiding you to include trending keywords effectively. With Tiny Image, your Shopify content is geared to rank better and bring in relevant traffic. Metadata product titles, descriptions, and image alt text. By targeting these areas, you can boost your Shopify visibility and ultimately drive sales. Best practices for keyword research. Focus on long tail keywords. These specific phrases, like handmade leather shoes for women, attract customers with strong purchase intent. Balance search volume and competition. Target keywords with good search volume, but less competition. Optimize for buyer intent. Use keywords like buy, best, or discount to attract ready-to-buy customers. Use competitor keywords strategically. Avoid copying. Instead, look for gaps to fill. Stay updated on trends. Keywords change as consumer behavior shifts. Keep an eye on these changes and stay competitive. Assign specific keywords to unique pages, ensuring you're not competing with yourself. In a nutshell, while keyword research is crucial for getting found, it's just one part of a strong SEO strategy. Building a unique brand that resonates with your audience and explores creative, viral content ideas can drive organic traffic in a way that keywords alone can't. A strong brand might eventually need fewer keywords as it becomes memorable and sought after for what it uniquely offers. By using top-rated tools like Tiny Image, you can focus on the more important aspects and leave all the technical stuff to us. Keyword research is the backbone of successful Shopify SEO. It's about understanding what your customers want and ensuring they find your store first. Whether you do it manually, analyze competitors, or use Tiny Images Insights, remember that SEO is an ongoing journey. There we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to keep these tiny tips coming. See you in the next video, and until then, keep those clicks coming.